Hello to whoever is viewing this. My name is Charles Landis and it's June 21st, 2053. Scientists have spotted an explosion from the binary star system Alpha Centauri. It is the nearest star to us and 4.37 light years away. The first star exploded, setting off the second star, creating an even more gargantuan explosion than ever seen in recent times. Uh, apparently scientists are saying that we only have about a week or so left. Well, as you could imagine, when the news broke, there were a lot of suicides. Uh, I didn't understand it when we had seemingly an infinite amount of time, and I don't understand it now when we're all just going to end up in the same place anyway. And of course there's those people that started looting, but for the most part, people are calmed. Uh, you don't have to worry about the mortgage or promotion. The pressure's just off on everyone. and. It's funny to see what people will do when they don't have to worry about conservation or time. Millionaires are throwing parties like it's the Great Gatsby. They're giving people helicopter rides, preparing hundreds of hundreds of five-star meals per day. People are just living now. Everyone is living because there is no tomorrow. I've been putting a lot of thought into this. I've had a lot of experiences in my life and I wasn't unhappy with it before the announcement of the end of time. So if I was happy then, I don't have any reason not to be now. But things have a different intensity about them now. I want to prank call someone. I want to sail on a boat, go on a hike, and see a hippie. I don't need to go skydiving or go to Europe. I just want to experience and document everyday things for the first, last time. Hello? Hi, yes, I saw your uh, ad for the fridge. Yes. It's, uh, the ad said it's currently up and running, correct? Yeah, it's right now. Oh, well, well then you might want to catch it. So as far as I can remember, I've always loved going on hikes. I've always enjoyed them, but there is a hike that I haven't been to. And uh, I want to go check that out. So right now, that's where we're headed. Here we go. Well, I went to town and uh, I met this hippie. Uh, he gave me this shirt and we talked about the impending doom of the end of the world. And he also gave me one other thing. Um, wasn't exactly sure about what it is, but he uh, highly recommended it. Uh. Hey! Anybody here? Hey! No! Over here! So I was able to pull some strings, talk to a few people, and uh, I've lined up a boat. Uh, apparently it's a 30-foot yacht, it's blue and yellow, and apparently it's really fast. 
Uh, I'm just excited right now to get to the water, get out on the water. It's supposed to meet me there, and uh, I, I, I just can't wait. Well, I think there's been a mistake. I don't even think it's seaworthy. Well, as awkward as this is going to be to report, our scientists were more than a little bit off. Uh, the explosion was quite large, but it wasn't anything our atmosphere couldn't handle. And uh, most significantly, we lost a lot of satellites. But uh, that's about it. So, it's mainly just awkward. <laughs>